Okay, so different location. I've reorganized a little bit and now I have a dedicated shelf for my TBR books books that I want to read in the future. So I'll link in the corner my goals video of 2020, but in that goals video I talked about some things that I wanted to accomplish to be able to make sure that I get through my TBR in a reasonable and good way. It doesn't matter. I have tasks and I have certain books that I'm trying to prioritize every month. I will, it'll all come together if you haven't seen before. So I receive a lot of books in the mail from my subscribers. You guys are amazing. I'm trying to share your favorite stories with me. So what I've done is the first, these two shelves right here are all books that you guys sent that I'm excited about and want to get to really soon. These books that are wrapped are the books that you guys sent me that I don't know, I don't recognize, I don't know a lot about, and so they wouldn't be high on my priority list. And so I wrapped them and I select one randomly every month. Ideally, I'd like to work my way up to two or three every month, but we're keeping it chill to start off to get used to the habit so that I'm still prioritizing the books that I would naturally kind of not pay as much attention to. I wanna make sure that these get read too. These are the books that I just already owned or have been given to me outside of my subscribers, whatever that I also wanna to get to. And down here are all my books that were sent to me by self-published authors that I plan on reading as well. So let's talk about the books that I plan on reading in February. First, let's talk about the books that I plan on buddy reading. So on my Patreon, which is linked down in the description, every month we buddy read two books. And the two books that my patrons selected this month that we're gonna be buddy reading are Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson, which is a YA series that I still have not read by him. So I'm finally, this is good. This is, gives me the push to actually read it. And the other book that we're buddy reading this month is Rage of Dragons, which is another book that I've been meaning to get to for a while. Several of my friends here on booktube have already reviewed it and quite a few people have loved it. So I really, really, really want to read it. And I have a second buddy read group over on Discord, also will be linked in the description. So if you can't or just don't want to donate through Patreon, there's still an option to buddy read. And over there, we've been reading the first Law trilogy for the last two months, and we're going to read the third book in February. And I'm so excited because book two ended on such an interesting note, so I cannot wait to finish this series out, even though there's still standalones waiting for me after I'm done. I'll also be reading book eight in the Wheel of Time series. I, whew, um, by the time you watch this, the Wheel of Time review for book seven has not come out yet, but it will be out soon. I'm just not entirely sure when, but I've recorded it. But yes, I'll be continuing on into book eight. As far as Malazan, I am still working on book two at the time that I'm recording this, so it'll carry on into February, so I'm not continuing with book three in February. Next, I have Starless, which is a self-pubbed book, and the synopsis is pretty vague. But it basically sounds like it's a people group that have avoided bloodshed for a long time, but now it's become unavoidable and so they have to fight their way through it and figure out a strategic way around it. I don't really know a lot about it, but it really caught my eye this month, so it's on my list. I also have a book that I've forgotten the title of, but I saw it over on Jesse's channel from Bowties and Books, which I'll link down in the description, but here it is. It's a nonfiction, and I'm going to actually, when I link Jesse's channel, I'm going to go ahead and link the video where they talked about it, because I think they just described it a lot better than I ever could. So I'm just going to link that down in the description, but it's a nonfiction. It's something that really, really interested me, so I've been meaning to get to it for a bit, and now is my perfect excuse. And last, we're going to un wrap a book. So this is the part where we talk about a book that I'm going to be reading that was sent to me from my subscribers. Oh man, I need a bigger bowl already, this bowl. Like I want to mix it up. Let's just go for it. Let's just... And this is the one I choose. Number 27, which is right... I don't want you guys to see that I'm wearing pajama pants. Don't look. Number 27. Here we go. This is my unwrapped book. I'm, I'm unreasonably excited for this new unwrapping routine that I'm gonna be doing. 13th Child by Patricia something. F was born a 13th child. Her twin brother, Lan, is the seventh son of a seventh son. This means he's supposed to possess amazing talent, and she's supposed to bring doom to everyone around her. Undeterred, her family moves to the frontier, where her father will be a professor of magic at a school perilously close to the magical divide that provides settlers from the beasts of the wilderness. It says more, but that's enough to get me intrigued. I love it. I love that she's supposed to bring doom, and she has a twin brother. Is that what it said? Twin brother, who's... Oh, 
Man, that actually sounds really interesting. It looks like it might be middle grade based on the formatting, or I guess it could just be lower YA, which I really don't read a lot of middle grade, so I'm excited. That was a good choice. Okay, so Drennan noticed my wrapped presents for the first time. I'm sorry, my wrapped books for the first time, and he is super excited about them, and he wanted to open one. So, I apparently am doing two wrapped books this month. Go for it, kid. What is it? A dragon. A dragon? Can I see? Thank you. Dragon flight. I have never heard of this. Let me see. To the nobles who live in Brendan City, Lessa is nothing but a ragged kitchen servant. For 10 long turns, she has survived by serving those who betrayed her father and seized his lands. Mm -hmm. But now the time has come for Lessa, Lessa to shed her disguise and reclaim her stolen birthright. Well, okay, I'm actually really excited about that. I love kingdom and royalty tropes. I love you. I love you too, sweetheart. Okay, so those are the books. Oh gosh, this is a mess. So those are the books that I plan on reading this month. Now let's do an overview so we can talk about what goals they hit. Okay, so here are the four goals that I'm trying to hit every single month with my TBR. For my series that I'm continuing this month, I have the last book in the First Law trilogy as well as the eighth book in the Wheel of Time series. For books from my subscribers, I have Steelheart, Rage of Dragons, Thirteenth Child, and Moonflight. For self-published book, I'm reading Starless, and for nonfiction, I'm reading She Came to Slay, which is about Harriet Tubman. I'm realizing in editing that I forgot to say that. And those are all my goals, and I only have seven books on this TBR list. So those are my goals. Those are the books that I officially plan to read this month. I'm also going to work a couple classics in. There are some that I have in mind, but I can't tell you about because I'm only allowed to have seven books on my TBR anymore. So I'll be reading more than this, but these are the ones that we're talking about today. Um, I would love to continue chatting with you about any of these that you want to chat with me about in the comments. I post videos every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.